Hi everybody, this is Body Pal with the Android Anthem, and today I have for you the unboxing of an HTC Desire Eye brought to you by my friends at AT&T. The Desire Eye is made by HTC. Its main focus is the fact that it has a 13 megapixel camera on the front for the selfie pictures as well as a 13 megapixel camera on the back. Making our way around the box, you can tell that it's got AT&T orange written all over it and plenty of HTC and AT&T logos. Nothing more special, regular cardboard, no fancy smancy stuff going on here. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what's inside. All right, right there on top is the quick start guide. I'm sure that'll help us out determine where everything is. I'll hold that right off to the side. And the phone, of course. White and coral reef red, I guess. Coral reef salmon? Nah, it's just coral reef. It's a reddish color. That's what we'll go with. Let's put that to the side, see what else comes in the box. Got an advertisement for the Re camera. Hope to get my hands on one of them soon. And if I do, I'll let you hear all about it. Some safety, regulatory, warranty information. Nothing special there. Ah, here's some HTC stickers. You can plant those on your notebooks, your laptops, your tablets, your windows, wherever you feel like putting them. We also have an AC charger, wall adapter, has USB inside and then a micro USB 2.0 charging cord regular standard charging equipment let's take the phone I'm sorry let's take the box and let's just push it to the side now right here on top let's take a look at this the quick start guide tells us where the SIM card is the SD card volume power camera button charging Pretty much everything, but let's put that to the side too and take a look at the phone. The HTC Desire Eye. It is a pretty nice looking phone. It has a 5.2 inch 1080p display. That's 1080p by 1920. 5.2 inch diagonal. Now, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Let's see if we can get the focus. You can see there's a bezel at the bottom with HTC's logo. And then there's another bezel here on the side. It's pretty thick. That's the first thing I noticed is how thick that bezel is. Right there to the side, the bottom. Not that much on top, but some. As you can see here, 13 megapixel camera on the front, as well as a dual LED flash. It's paired with another 13 megapixel camera on the back and another dual LED flash. Now the phone itself is made of some sort, it's, uh, it's a vinyl with a rubbery feel and texture. Great for grip. It's definitely not going to slide out of your hand because you can grip those sides really, really well. The bottom has your charging port. It's up, it tends to be upside down it looks with the flat side of the port up. A microphone as well on the bottom. On the left hand side, a SIM card tray. SD card as well. Oh, there we go. There's SIM card. And there is an SD card slot. It supports up to 128 gigabytes of external storage. Great for movies pictures, whatever you choose, music. On the back, already introduced you to the camera. There's a microphone right there, right beside it. Get you to focus. Here we go. HTC logo dead center. This is a review unit. This would not be on your personal device if you were to choose this phone. 
AT&T logo on the bottom, as well as some FCC certification and model information. Here, let's see. There we go. On top, got your headphone jack. Nothing more. And on the right hand side, you have your power button down here on the side, in the middle, and your volume up and down rockers. This will be easy to get to as you're holding it one handed. You can tell right there, my thumb lands right there on the power switch. It's not that hard of a stretch to the volume rocker, so that'll be nice. The screen does look big. Now, it's the Desire series. It's not the top-of-the-line flagship device made by HTC. That would be their One series. But in this case, it looks like it would really make do. I mean, we're talking two 13-megapixel cameras, front and back. 1080p display 5.2 inches i mean this almost has flagship written all over it so what's inside it's also got a quad core snapdragon 801 processor two gigabytes of ram 16 gigabytes of storage and again 128 gigabytes of potential on the sd card it's running android 4.4.4 4. at the time of its release that was the most recent version of android it runs LTE, HSPA+, 3G. It's got the fastest radios possible as well. 2400 milliamp hour non-removable battery. Well, I'm going to test that out. They rated it 20 hours of talk time and several, several days of standby time. Nothing as far as rating on usage time, but I'm going to test that out for sure and I'll let you know in the full review. Look at the speakers down here. They're hidden somewhat. There's a slot, somewhat of a s crease slot in the glass between, there you go, between the glass and the bottom white bezel. That's where the bottom speaker is. And then here at the top is, the, is another speaker. So it has dual speakers, stereo sound, HTC boom sound for sure. And the fact that they're hidden so well, I almost didn't even notice them. You can't you can barely tell by touch that they're there either. That that's a nice hidden way to put your speakers on a phone. I hope they go with that say with their new M HTC one from this year. There we go. But that's nice. We'll test the speakers out as well. If we turn the puppy on, I have never turned it on, but there's your pretty screen right there. 1080p. With HTC, that is top of the line. They haven't come out with a quad-core screen yet. I don't know if they're going to either. We'll find out later this year when they potentially, they rumored to release their new HTC One, or at least announce their new HTC One M9 March 1st, but we'll find out for sure. So there we have it. It was released October 2014. The HTC Desire I, brought to you by my friends over at AT&T. We're gonna make its rounds, put it through the tests, and I'll let you know how this ends up at the end.